This video is brought to you by Videoblocks. Damn it. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Lorenzo, your ball is here. Oh, okay. I'm coming down. Welcome again to Copycat Friday. My name is Jordi for Cinecam.net. Now my hair still hasn't been cut. Jenning is still on vacation in Sri Lanka and Lorenzo still doesn't know what he's doing. So everything is running out of control at Cinecam. But thank God we got again a great inspiration. This time it comes from Panic at the Disco, one of my favorite bands. And last time I had myself body painted to recreate the effects from Emperor's New Clothes. And this time we're going to walk on walls like Brendan was doing in his latest music video, High Hopes. And there's actually a very nice behind the scenes video where you can see how they rigged them up to actually walk on the building. But there were also a few green screen shots for the convenience and I found it really interesting how they worked with a green treadmill. Now we are going to do it a little bit different but first I'd like to thank Videoblocks for their support. If you're short on time but want to create an amazing video, their library can probably help you out. Every day tons of new stock clips, video effects, transitions, after effects templates and a ton more are added to the library. With a single price per year or per month, you can download as many items as you want. To start downloading, you can sign up for the first link in the description below. And there are two parts to the effect. And the first one is climbing up to the wall, and the second one is actually walking on that wall. Captain Disillusion recently did a great video breaking down how to walk on walls the Hollywood way, but he also shared a very nice tip that everyone can do. You want to start off by filming your action from a tripod, as we're going to blend two clips together. The first shot is where you have a stool behind your talent. To save time in post-production, it is best to lay a green screen over this. This can also be a green t-shirt or any other green fabric. For safety, I am holding that stool as Lorenzo slowly leans to it and puts his both feet on the wall. Important is that you try to lay a little bit horizontal. Then remove everything from your shot and let the camera roll to have an empty clip as well. In Adobe Premiere Pro, you can start off by placing your empty shot on the bottom and your wall walking shot on the top. With the top clip selected, head over to the effects controls from which you want to click on the pen tool under opacity. With the pen tool, you draw a rough mask around your subject and a little bit from the stool. After that, apply the ultra key effect and with the color picker, select the green from the green screen to remove it. And I'll leave a link to a previous video where we explained the process of pulling off the perfect green key in the description below. And that's all there is to it! If you didn't work for the green screen, you're going to have to mask it out manually. I initially tried it this way, but after an hour, I just gave up. That's right, you're not used to the hard work, eh, Jordi? And guys, greetings from Sri Lanka. There's way too much wind. For the second shot, you want to set up a green screen and have your subject walk over it. But to make it blend better, there are a few things to pay attention to. First is the lighting. Lorenzo is walking on the floor, but normally you should walk on the wall. And that is why he should get lit from the top, or in his case, the front. As for the back, that should be in the shadow. That's why I've created this black flag, which I'll use to block off some of the lighting as Lorenzo does his walk. Then comes your second shot of the building, which you want to match its perspective with. And there are a couple of ways to match the perspectives of your two shots. And we first tried to measure the distance between the camera and Lorenzo who stood on the green screen, then take that right here against the wall and take the same distance, but that didn't turn out that great. So we came up with a better solution. We actually first keyed out Lorenzo out of its green screen shot, then took a still frame from that, exported it to a PNG, put it on a Z card, and then loaded that in here into the small HD monitor, which is able to overlay that PNG file on top of what I'm seeing right here. Now, if you don't have one of those monitors that is able to do that, what you can also do is just print out that still frame, take some scissors, cut out your talent, and then paste that here onto your monitor to get an idea of the perspective of your first shots. In Adobe Premiere Pro, you put your wall clip on the bottom. On top of there goes the green screen shots. Like before, draw a rough mask around that clip 
and with the Ultra Key effect you want to remove the green. Then go back to the motion property and rotate the clip to match it with its perspective. And usually this is going to be around the 45 degrees. Let's try and blend this clip a bit more by creating a shadow. Hold down the Alt key and drag the top clip one track higher, and this will create a duplication of that. On the bottom clip, I'm going to add the drop shadow effect. Select to only show the shadow. Then go into the motion property from which you want to rotate that shadow further so that it mirrors from your original. The shadow now has to move with your subject, so go to the point where your actor is about to release his first foot. On here, you want to position that shadow and click on the stopwatch to create an animation keyframe. Move further until Lorenzo puts his foot down and drag the clip to that new position. Then move to the next foot step and click on the keyframe button to make a keyframe that holds the same value as the one before. Because when Lorenzo stands still, you don't want to have the shadow to move. Go further in time and move the shadow. Do this for all the footsteps. Once you're done, you can go back into the drop shadow effect to decrease its opacity and increase the softness. Try to look for something that seems natural. We're almost there, there's only one more touch I'd like to add to the shadow. Around the speech, the shadow should be a little bit more intense, so what I'm gonna do is first move my original clip a track higher. In between comes a black video or a black colored solid. When it's selected, head over to the opacity property and take the pen tool. Draw a small circle underneath one foot. Take again the pen tool and draw a second mask under the second foot. Then start the animation for the mask pass property at where the first foot lifts off. Go further in time where it lands and move up that mask. Keep doing this for both the masks. This works exactly the same as we previously did with the global shadow. Once you're done, increase the feather of the two masks and perhaps decrease the opacity a bit. We're now going to animate the intensity of the shadows. As Lorenzo lifts his foot up, you want to create a keyframe for the opacity. When he's at his highest, decrease the opacity a tiny bit. At the point where his foot is back on the wall, you increase the opacity again. Continue this for both his feet and enjoy the final result. And that's how you can walk on walls. Thank you so much again for watching. Thank you, Videoblocks, for the support. And like always, stay creative! Gedaan. Filmpje is gedaan. Allemaal naar huis. Dag.